Okay, they've got to grab your boards. Then I want you to paddle out to that first boy there. Then cross over to the other one, surf back in, and run up to that blue flag. Got it? Yeah. Uh -huh. Good. I reckon the world's divided into two types. People who are always on time. On your marks. And people who aren't. Get set. To the beach. Go. Where the salty air is sweet. OK, you guys, I want to see your best efforts for the fitness component of this program. There are only three weeks left until the final comp. Now, at the end of this week, there will be a fitness assessment that is also worth valuable points. No. These are the scores for the year so far. Now, as you know, 60 points is the magic number you need to qualify for the comp. That's eight points to go, hey. Keep your nose clean, put in the effort, and you'll be home and hosed. And as long as you pass your school exams and this fitness test, you should all make the 60 points. OK, hit the showers. It's time for school. Where's he? Still stuffing around. But we've got an exam first period. I guess I just have to catch us up. Mum told me I was born two weeks late. And I've been running late ever since. Sorry I'm late. I got one of those alarm clocks and didn't really wind it up enough. As long as I pass, I'll be cool. How could you pass? You weren't there for over half the exam. So I work twice as fast. Just relax, OK? OK, guys, I want you down the beach and in the water in 10. Harry, you took 10 seconds off your time this morning, so let's try for another 10, OK? OK, girls. Melbourne for the final? Doubt it. I can't believe it's so close now. Yeah. Three weeks till we find out which two of us wins. Hey, maybe it could be us. Or maybe we could both miss out. No. Edge, it could happen. No, I can't afford to think about it. I've got to stay positive. You've also got to be realistic. It's called Plan B. Doesn't mean Plan A's not going to happen. It just means that if it doesn't, we've worked stuff out. What sort of stuff? Like, if you go back to Melbourne, we'll hardly ever see each other. You could stay in Sydney. You could stay at our place. You could set up a room in the garage. Mum and Dad would be cool with it. Meg, look, I really appreciate what you're saying, but right now, I'm not even going to think about it. Princess? Dad, I thought you were at work. Well, in case you haven't noticed, it is after six o'clock and even your old man is allowed to knock off from work. So what's that? Looks like a major garage makeover. Well, I was wondering... Yes? Well, seeing as all we do is store a lot of junk down there, I thought that if we clean it all up, it might make a good space for someone. Someone like Dean Edgley, for instance? 
Maybe. So why would he be thinking about something like that? Well... And more to the point, why would you be thinking about something like that? I guess we're just trying to plan for the future in case we don't win. This isn't Beck Sanderson talking, is it? Why not? You always tell us to set goals and plan for the future. But I never said you should chuck in the towel. I'm not chucking it in. You have goals. Winning the Solar Blue final and getting on the pro circuit. I know, but impossible as it might sound, Dad, I might actually lose the final. Then you find another way of getting onto the circuit. You keep training and competing until you do make it. Which is why it would be good if Edge moved in, because then we can work on making it together. Oh, sweetheart. But you don't want to be tying yourself down at 15. I'm not tying myself down, Dad. You don't understand. What it's... I understand is this. Whether you win or lose at Solar Blue, you have a, a future out there somewhere. Now, maybe it's in surfing. Maybe it isn't. But it's better than the future you're planning here, Beck. For you and for Edge. You don't know that. What I know is this, that you can do anything you want to, and you don't have to hang on to coattails of some boy. <laughs> Give me a break, Dad. I'm talking about Edge moving into the garage and you're making it sound like I'm throwing away my whole life. Oh, but it's your life and you've got to make choices, but can you just... Can just think about what I said, okay? Okay. Yes, Mr. Savin, of course. I understand. We'll keep you informed. Thanks. Bye. Where's he? Okay, so being late can be a bit inconvenient sometimes, but it's not like it's the end of the world or anything. The problem is, not everyone sees it that way. What's up? We need to have a little chat, hey? In the office. You were 20 minutes late for an exam. <sighs> Sorry. Nice get off my nose, mate. You're the one losing out. Yeah, I know, it's just... I was tired, so I fell back to sleep. Heath, you have a serious time management problem. You're late for school, you're late for training, you're even late for preparing dinner tonight. I'll lift my game. All right? You'll have to. Big time. The exam you failed today goes towards your final grade. I failed? Well, you can't have expected to pass. You know that in order to qualify for the final surf-off, you have to pass your exams. Well, today wasn't the only exam that counts. No, but you haven't done yourself any favours by failing it. And you've also backed us into a corner. Under Solar Blue rules, we have to deduct two points off your overall score. What? Well, that means I'm back down to 50 points. Well, how am I supposed to make 10 points in three weeks? I'm sorry, Heath. You should have thought of that before. If you're late for anything else, in school or out, there's a further one point deduction each time. The birds that make faces at me, it's all you can still make it, can't you? 10 points? How? A year's worth of training, I don't believe this. But what about the final exams? If you pass them, that's seven points for starters. Well, the way I'm going, that's a big if. Then I'm still three points down. Where do I get those from? How many points is a fitness assessment worth? Two. But it's worth three to win. So you better win. Oh, come on, what is the chance of that? Edge. No, Edge is right. I've come last in every practice so far. How's that going to change in a week? OK, we need to do two things. First, get you everywhere on time. That's easy, leave that bit to me. I'll draw you up a schedule. Second, we need to make sure he wins a fitness assessment on Friday. Well, that's not gonna happen. Come on, Edge, can't you give a little bit? Give what? If you want us to cheat, there's no need to cheat. Look, you're surfing and your running's okay. You just fall down on the paddling. And <laughs> just fall down, I collapse. Look, paddling for a wave, you're as fast as any of us, right? But paddling for speed over distance in the open water, it's a completely different ball game. We can work on that. We'll get you there, don't worry. Be there in a second. A second's not good enough. Come on. Now. Come on, Heath. Let's get early for once. Come on. See? It's not too bad. That's it. Push harder. Long, deep strokes.
I read somewhere that success is 90% effort and about 10% talent. What do you think you're doing? Sleep. No, you're not. No way. Keep going. The way people here carry on, you reckon it was 100% effort 100% of the time. So he doesn't have to move back to Melbourne, so we can still see each other. I don't know if I live in someone's garage. Well, it's only a plan B. If we both win, we'll be on tour together anyway. But what if one of you wins and one of you loses? That's cool. One of us will join the circuit and the other one can come along. There's no way I'd go on tour with someone as their handbag. What kind of life is that? Oh, just in time. Mr. Carroll. Will wonders never cease? Morning, sir. Morning, all. Please take your seats. You want to see me? Uh, no, no, just passing. Well, shouldn't you be getting down to the beach for training? Yeah, yeah, I'm going now. Simo, they've got their two favourites for the comp. You reckon? They're watching one of them now. Haven't taken their eyes off her all afternoon. Man, what's gotten into you? You're getting paranoid. Believe me, Simo is in his office watching videos he's made up of Perry and Edge. So what? He's got tapes of all of us. How come they're the only two he's been watching lately? Simo's desk ready to go, and they both had visa applications. So, what is saying that they've chosen the winners before the final comp? Well, it looks that way. That would be completely illegal. It's cheating. And they wouldn't do it. Not Deb and Simo. Okay, then why are their files the only ones out? Why are they applying for visas? And why are they the ones getting the extra coaching? What extra coaching? Oh, come on, it's right in front of your eyes. Deb and Simo are talking to them all the time. Why don't we just ask Perry and Edge what's going on? Yeah, and you think they're going to tell you? Well, if what you're saying is true, that means this whole year has been one long, stupid joke. Two serves of dinner, I'm still starving. You want some? No, thanks. I think I'll tell Mum and Dad to forget the garage idea. You're probably right. 
plans. If you know plan A's a sure thing, then you don't need a plan B. Yep. Start thinking plan B. Doubt creeps in. Happens every time. You okay? Yep. No, you're not. What's wrong? We didn't talk about the other possibility, which is if one of us gets chosen and the other one doesn't. Beck, look, I don't know about you, but as far as I'm concerned, I'm gonna win. You sound pretty sure about that? Yeah, well, I'm sure about one thing. You can't be a winner if you don't think like a winner. And you think you're a winner? I don't think it. I know it. Getting your brain into gear? What for? Hello, the fitness circuit you need to win. What can I say, Fly? I'll do my best. No, Heath, you have to do better than that. You have to tell yourself you're going to win. Why bother? Do bother. I'll see you in the morning. What's that? I don't know. Some form I've got to fill out. Oh, yeah? What for? I don't know. For Solar Blue? You get out of my face, man. You okay? No, Edge. Not okay. Definitely not okay. Is he up yet? No. Oi, Slacker, what are you doing? Boys are on first. You can't babysit him his whole life. We're not. We're just helping him jump one last hurdle. You're not helping him. You're doing all the work for him. What good's that gonna do him? Okay, okay, Ed, you're right. But the bottom line is, he's a mate. Yeah, well, so let him face the facts. He's goofed around and now he's gonna pay the price. What difference does it make to you anyway? You're over the line. Yeah, and he's not. That's one less person we gotta compete against, yeah? Man, you know Heath is good enough to compete in the finals. And if you beat him, you wanna know it's because you're a better surfer than him. Not because you turn up to an exam on time or do better in a fitness session. Maybe. We've been waiting a whole year for this. What kind of final will it be if it's not a genuine competition between the three of us? What are you doing? Keep your shirt on, I'm coming. Well, hurry up, the other's already down there, you'll miss a race. What's the point? It's all a farce anyway. What? How many warnings does the guy need? Matt, what's his problem this time? I'll go find out. No. Now the race starts in two minutes, Heath or no Heath? The two winners have already been chosen. Yeah, right. And who are they? Well, you should know. You're one of them. Well, if I am, no one's told me about it. How come Deb and Simo are always giving you and Edge extra coaching? They're not. How come they've prepared special files for you, complete with visa applications? Heath, the tour starts a week after the final. Everything needs to be ready. They're doing that for all of us. Okay, then how come there's only two files? Huh? Where's the others? Maybe they haven't done them yet? If you're so worried about it, Heath, why don't you ask Deb and Simo instead of jumping to dodgy conclusions? You've read this all wrong, truly. What's with you? Are you looking for an excuse to cop out so you don't have to risk not winning the final? No! Heath, you're a talented surfer. You've spent a year training for this. If you want to compete in the final, you need to get out there and do the circuit, and you need to win it. It's your choice, Heath. What's it gonna be? If you want those three points back, you have to go now. Deb, three seconds.
it my best shot, but with a guy like Edge around, your best shot is never enough. As we hit the beach, I got ready to kiss my year at Blue Water goodbye. That's the weird thing about life. Just when you think it's all over, it deals you an ace. You all right, man? Congratulations, mate. Just goes to show. Nothing's over till it's over. Yeah, I guess so. Three points. Should come in very handy. Yeah, fair. As for Edge, I don't know whether to give him a point for generosity or deduct one for bad acting. Guess I'll let sleeping dogs lie. Hey, Edge. Uh, thanks. Thanks for what? A trip. OK, well, I guess I just got lucky then. Enjoy it, mate. You won't get lucky again. You never would have done that a year ago. You're becoming a softy in your old age. Doesn't anyone here think I'm capable of tripping over in the sand? Not in a race like that. No. You've changed, Edge. For the better, I mean. I don't know what you're talking about. Sorry about hitting you with all that Plan B stuff. Forget about it. Heath almost had me convinced. About what? That you'd been pre-selected to win. He's right. I pre-selected myself. Power of positive thinking, huh? Stick with it. You trip up like that again, you're gonna need it. You are going down! You can't hide behind a towel! Ed! Mail, guys. We need you to fill these out. Send them back by the end of the week. What are they? Performance assessment. Uh, of each other, ourselves, what? Of us. Your trainers. You guys. I done mine. Got it yesterday. Hey, lucky you guys were nice to me at training. They're anonymous, so feel free to make an honest appraisal. Yeah, she's on the other foot. Does this mean we get to stick the boot in? Don't you dare. Um, guys, just doing the rounds, thanking everybody for what they did for me. Got the points? Yep, it's official. I'm up to 53. But you still got seven to go. Which I'll get if I pass next week's final exams. You'll pass. How do you know? Because I'll be sitting beside you every recess, every lunch break, and every night making sure you study till you drop. And I'll be flies back up. Guess I don't have any choice then. OK, fine. I guess I should get my maths book then. Such a doofus. I thought he was your friend. He is, but even friends have their limits. You think he'll get through? He has to get through. Otherwise, I'll kill him. Oh. oh. 